Hello, this is uh, the Bassman, and I was asked by my buddies on Fishing Scout, uh, which, if you don't know what Fishing Scout is, it's on the Apple uh, App Store, and it's, in my opinion, the best fishing app ever. It's not a game, it's you post your fishing videos, or not videos, but uh, pictures, and other people do too, and they tell you what they caught it on, how big it is, you know, the exact lure and everything, and it's just great. Um, but, they, so you should definitely download it. Um, and you can follow me, I'm Isaac Carey, or The Bass Man, on it, if you want to follow me, great. But um, I was asked to do a tackle review. This is number two. The other one, I guess, was taken down for was taken down for copyright issue or something. I don't know, but yeah. So here it is. So here is my piano piano tackle box. It's got my little bass I put on it. I have a blurt of that, which that's what they call the you know, the pictures you post, they're blurts, um, and here's, I have this piece of cardboard here so I can put it in my backpack with all my lures, without all my lures pulling out, but, yeah, so, first off, uh, these are just a bunch of rooster tails, misc colors, a bunch of misc, 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 yeah, a um, bunch of different colors, this is probably my favorite, got a lot of, t a little small mouth on that, for cut bait for pike and stuff. Which I'm going to make more videos of this summer of me catching some. I got greens, I got yellows, I got silvers, I got blacks. And then finger knuckle clippers at the need for cutting line. A little bee fly I made out of a kind of like a miniature wine cork. I guess it's just a cork. I don't drink wine. Or my whole family does not and I got this little pike spoon. I use a oops, little bass and trout. Drop something. I think it was a jig head. And I got these little. My first frogs were just Walmart brand frogs, like a Matt Matty Coo or something like that. This one's like Fire Tiger or something like that. Pretty soft. And this bigger one that's just like toad. I think they call it. Copper toad. Those are great, great topwater lures. Not as good as the sexy frog, which I will show you later. And then I got these Rapalas. Same Rapala. Two different colors. They are the. Oops. Ow, 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 ow. The Rapala. Uh, fat wraps and perch and shad colors. Fuck myself there. And then I got a couple of these. Two of the big uh, rooster tails, which are hooked into each other, but in rainbow trout color. Bass and bass and trout like those. And I got a smaller, uh, like a jerk bait kind of a thing, uh, Rapala, and then another even smaller one in brown trout color, and then this lure right here I found while fishing a little creek, a little creek, I don't even know what it is, oh. I use really sharp hooks, so yeah, I'm getting a little bloody. That uh, one I've caught quite a few fish on. It's a good one, and then I have this uh, uh, like football head. I think it's not a football head, but a bass jig with a little uh, crawdad trailer hook. I use this for bottom fishing, right near the bottom, and sometimes I'll just pull it along fast. Not often though. This one I'll use over some rocky flats and just open top water, obviously. You know, open. All that's definitely open. You can't use that in weeds. And then I got this little spoon that I never use. I used it like three times in two colors. 
I got that from, just found it. I found a lot of Lulu's. This one was one I found. Uh, both of these are found on the bank. Um, I never use those, really. Bobber for cut bait for pike. And then over here, I have this little Rapala. This, for in my area, for some reason, yellows and oranges, smallmouth, just love. Cordelana area, I don't know. And then another, a smaller flatfish. I also found this one, and, uh, and this one has the same place. And then a couple more flatfish in there, a black one and an orange one. Crawdad thing. I use, I've never really used this that much, but it, the one time I did use it was pretty good. You know, it's a, not that deep of a diving. It's a, a, a Bagley's crayfish. I don't know what color it is. Probably crawfish color. And then I use a salmon spoon. Pike seem to like it sometimes. Sometimes. It's weedless. This, I don't know what it is. Another one I found. I found a lot of lures because I fish a lot. And it, oh, if I can get unhooked. Don't want to draw blood on this one. Okay. This one, it opens up in the center here. And you can put cut bait or anything inside of that light. And it, it's pretty nice. I gotta start moving along here. Getting along. Um, and then this is another spoon. Same thing. It's got a trailer there. These are some homemade spoons. Out of a spoon. They're two different. And some paracord and stuff. A swivel. I have all the details on Fishing Scout. Another salmon lure. All this, all these salmon lures I found. Laying in my garage. Or whatever. This is another one. I was, my dad actually gave me. It's a pike lure. Nice, nice one. Some jigs. Like crappie jig, big crappie jig, but they're for bass. Some leeches. I've actually used Texas rig one time on this. And it was a little small, but they weren't wanting something really big that day. There's, so I put this thing on a Texas rig and I caught a couple. It's a leech with the yellow tail. And then I got this top water dead minnow that I have. This is a nice, good one. It works really well. I love it. I love these guys. And I have this one, which is my absolute favorite. I used to slam them on this. I mean, couldn't let go. Would not let go. Broke the tail off. Fish did. It was a shallow diving. And then this one is now my new favorite. It's rainbow trout color. Top uh, lipless. Top water-ish. Sharp hooks. That's why I'm not going to play with it too much. <laughs> this is a popper I made. Out of a bigger cork. Like I say, art class is just a good excuse to make fishing lures du during school. Mosquito repellent thing, that's good for creek fishing. Scale, I got that one off Amazon or something. Tape measure, pliers, all need, you definitely need that. I have this temperature thing, and mine the K12, K12 sucks, just saying. Uh, temperature, thermometer for water temperature. And this is getting long, uh, some perch colored swim baits, they're soft, they're pretty nice. I use that for more most top water, you know, cr just cranking hard. Pike fly. That was given to me. Real grease, that's something you absolutely need. You absolutely need real grease. A couple markers. Um, some crawfish kind of a thing. I use that for jig trailers and a bunch of other things. Another uh, Rapala jerkbait thing. I also crank it. But they seem to like it most in jerk. I also have another color. It's white and black. It's a little bit smaller than this old one. It's even a little smaller than that one. And then this real, really small one. You saw that. You saw that. Uh, it cut out with 
jerk bait, smaller jerk bait. They're Rapalas. I also use them for cranking. Small rainbow Rapala, mostly for trout. I'll hook myself again. Ouch, ouch. Ooh, that's gonna be a painful one. At least it didn't go all the way through. That actually was the thing. Didn't hurt. You know, gold jerk bait Rapala. Those are nice. Gum. Another one of those jigs. Uh, Ease braid from uh, the spider wire. Pliers. You know, pike jig. Got a couple flukes in here. Those flukes are nice. I think that's what they're called. Uh, this is a homemade. I broke a. Mind the rubber band. I broke a. Uh, a. Whatchamacallit. Uh, Whatchamafreaking call it. Uh, rooster tail. I broke a rooster tail. The hook off. And then I put a little split swivel and one of those bigger hooks and put a fluke on it. I'm gonna have to hurry it up. My camera keeps cutting out because it's almost out of uh, memory and I'm almost dead. Okay, so you saw this, I think. Uh, rooster tail I broke. Stirring it up with the offset hook with a fluke. Small mouth just dominate this. They love it. And then. A bunch of soft, short, soft, soft plastics. And a little bit different, a little bit bigger soft plastics. And whatever you think would be best, I should use any of these lures. You comment all you want. Oh, they're not more than knowledge. If you have more knowledge than I do, have fun at it. Just tell me all you want. I'm happy to hear it. Well, and then I've got this full of jigs and different hooks and all that and skill leader and stuff. This superpower line, I'll do a review on that. I got it off Amazon, uh, uh, not Amazon, but yeah, Amazon. I got it off Amazon for cheap. Works just great. It's a little bit thicker and a little bit rougher, but I don't care. It was cheap. It's nice. I don't have very much money. Sexy Frog, favorite lure. I already went over this. There's another one. I have a spare. This is full of spinner baits and buzz baits. Bunch of different colors. Buzz baits, spinner baits, great for covering a bunch of water. Uh, a bunch of bullet weights for. Texas rigging, bass smell. Sometimes I usually don't use this, but sometimes I just want a little bit of smell on it. Uh, <clears throat> fluorocarbon leader for the braid, hooks for snagging a big uh, trash fish, bunch of different worms, uh, mostly by zoom, but I have a mix of black. There's bl uh, black ones, there's gr black with green flake, there's Brown with red flake, all finesse worms. There's a couple of ones with spins. All, I think all of them are finesse worms. This is full of weights. I got some weedless hooks here. Gamagatsu. Gamagatsu is good for cheap hooks, cheaper hooks. And then uh, the hook that comes in the box. I can't remember what they're called right now. It's a second. Laser trocar. Those are the best, but they're expensive. More uh, steel leaders. Split shot sinkers, I use that sometimes. You know, and so that's my most of my tackle. My about 99% of my tackle. Just phones just about to cut out. Or camera, I got about 30 more or a couple more minutes maybe. So real quick I'll show you my new rod. I have a lot more on it on fishingscout.com. Again, bet hands down best fishing app on the app store. It's the H2O Mattel. In camo with more of that line that I got off Amazon. I tested it. It it I mean, I took what twenty pounds and I bounced it up and down as hard as I could. Would not break. I tried cutting it. It's well a whole lot harder to cut than my uh, spider wire and you know it's on a Abu Garcia Vengeance rod, seven foot, medium, medium heavy rod. I use it for frogging, and so that's my tackle, and that's my brand new rod and reel. Get Fishing Scout the uh, app again, hands down, best fishing app on the app store. Just a great app. So check it out. It's the Bathman signing off. Hope you enjoy my video.